Hey, how's it going? How are you doing today? I am Anna, in case you did not ever know that, so now you do. So today, I like to like, simply open up my heart space and speak. I'm not sure what's in here that wants to be released, but here we go. Are you ready? All right. So, the last two videos that I posted, I've expressed how I feel like a calling bigger than even me how I feel like carving my how I feel very different things, right? Well, it's been a week now and I have been reflecting, I have been working, I have been cleaning, I've been throwing things away. Attempting to figure out what my soul is begging me to do, you know? And goodness, <laughs> I realized a lot actually. And I am 30 years young. Uh so Again, like, I feel like my mind and my body are now telling me, like, yo, get your shit together, right? You got to, everyone's doing it, everyone's got kids, everyone's got a life, everyone's got a bougie car, everyone's doing it, living their best life, right? Then I gotta remind myself, like, I'm not, I am on my own path. I've been on my own path, you know, I've been with myself, I've been with self. I, I, I mean, obviously, I have co workers, I have friends, I have people, but at the end of the day, like, I wake up to me and my cats, you feel me? And so, like, they do say that we are our our worst enemy, you know, like we talk ourselves down. Legitimately, I believe that to be 100%, even if you are very positive and enlightened, I really believe that there are those thoughts and those egos and those, this, this is that, you know, it's life because we are human and there's nothing wrong with having your moments where you just want to be held and want to be loved because that is normal and that is okay. It's okay to seek validation. It's okay to seek to seek comfort in those that love you and those that you love. And and I've learned this, okay? I've learned that that me, myself, and I, this whole being here, <sighs> yes, I am a lover, I am a giver, I love to nourish, I love to provide, I love to be a service. I I am a giver, I am a lover. I also realize that like I need love too, you feel me? <laughs> like I don't know how to ask someone for love. I feel like I shouldn't have to ask someone for love. I shouldn't have to ask someone to hey like do you see me kind of thing? And I know it all goes down to me seeing me and loving me. And I do love myself. I feel like I have gone through so much inner self <laughs> hatred already in the past that I've learned to love me. I've learned to accept me. I've learned to hug myself. I've learned to cuddle with myself. I've learned to give myself gifts. I've learned to do so many things for myself that at this point where I'm at in life, it's like, yeah. You feel me? I do need love and I'm okay with saying that. I'm okay with saying I I require love because love is what makes the world happier. <laughs> and and love is involvement, love is growth, and we don't all love the same and I've known this, you know, we all love our own in our own ways, right? Yes, 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 yes. But one thing that everyone has is a heart. And that heart has beautiful feelings. And those feelings those feelings, whether or not anyone else would express them. There are many ways to, to, to show you love someone, right? And I feel like I I am that person that calls and I check check in on my people. I am the one that's always like knocking on people's door. I feel like I've always been that way. I've lost a lot of people, like a lot of my close friends, because of having my mental breakdowns and not knowing that I need to tell them myself, right? that now I'm at that point in my awareness where it's like, dang, <laughs> you feel me? Like, I have had so many people in my life and because of my of me not being able to stabilize my mental health back in the day, like over five years ago, I lost a lot of people that mean the world to me. And thanks to them, I know how to love myself because they put themselves first, teaching me to put me first. I don't even know if any of this is making sense, but I am speaking because it's what needs to be expressed for me. I uh, I constantly go into these things where I just don't wanna to talk to people, but my people. <laughs> and I, I, I do my best to, to communicate what's going on in my life so people can understand. And do you do that? Do, do you communicate what's going on with your life? What What is, I don't even know what I'm saying, you know, because I feel like I'm very honest and I'm very full of truth and I don't really have a filter because I vow to, 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 to be true and I speak and I don't really think about things that before I say things, I, I speak because I, I live with an open heart. 
when I do think, I sit in my head and I count. I count in my head because my best friend is my head. <laughs> you feel me? And I mean, I live, I live with my two cats, my babies. Um, I live with myself. I live with God. God is always here, the Holy Spirit. So I spend a lot of time in my head and I'm doing my best to create and get out of my head and me getting out of my head is me speaking. <laughs> And I just hope that this video makes sense to me because in reality, I just don't miss for me. You know, if anyone watches, cool, cool, cool. But I like to rewatch them and understand myself because I feel like there's a little girl inside of me, a little boy. Uh, my pronouns, she, he, they, we, us, all of it. Because <laughs> we are one, you feel me? But like there's just a little girl inside that just, just wants to be held. And I do my best to help to hold myself. To do my best to validate me, to give myself the best compliments in the world. I do the best that I can to be the best me. And they did say that spiritual awakening to self-love, self-growth, and involvement is a forever thing. And it is a forever thing. One day I love myself, one day I, I, I'm taking myself out on a date, the other day I'm crying, another day I'm in the bathtub feeling good, another day I'm in the bathtub crying, shedding away the fears, the doubts, the worries. I am growing and I am evolving and I have no idea where my life is taking me. All I know is that I trust this process, I trust the next step, I trust what comes out of my mouth, I trust what my heart feels, I trust the universe, I trust God, I trust those around me because without trust there's nothing, you know? I, yeah, and uh, I hope that when I rewatch this it makes sense to me, I hope that if anyone's ever listening, that it makes sense to you because I know I jumble and speak and my mind goes all over the place and I'm trying to riddle and yeah, I don't know, but I know something and what I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of it. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'm going to go make some breakfast because my fast is over now. Um, I'm going to get a cup of coffee because I love my coffee. I'm going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to have fun with me. All right, so y'all. Have a good night or good day and enjoy enjoy life, man. Woo!